Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use PT100 RTD to measure temperature using a Wheatstone bridge and to amplify the signal using an op amp as a differential amplifier. As you can see, this is the Wheatstone bridge I am using. There are four arms in the Wheatstone bridge. The 100 ohm resistance, there are three fixed arms and PT100 is the fourth arm. You can see this is the PT100 and this is the fourth arm of the Wheatstone bridge. The output of the Wheatstone bridge is in millivolts. So these two wires, the black, the red and the yellow wire, these are the two wires. They are connected to the PT100 and the output of the Wheatstone bridge, the orange and the brown wires are connected to the differential input of the op amp LM324. As you can see, this is the op amp LM324 and this is the differential op configuration of the op amp. This is the differential amplifier configuration of the op amp. So, whatever the output of the Wheatstown bridge, it comes in millivolt and there is a scale factor of 10 in the differential configuration of the op amp. So, I am getting it 10 times and the voltage comes in a multiple of 10. The millivolt voltage of the op amp is around 230 millivolt and the amplified voltage at the output of the op amp will be 2.38 volts. I am going to show you the circuit. As you can see here, this is the Wheatstown bridge. The three arms of the Wheatstown bridge are 100 ohm resistances and the fourth arm is the PT100, the RTD. The output of the Wheatstown bridge is fed to the LM324 operational amplifier. The operational amplifier is connected in differential amplifier mode. As you can see here, the input is 1K and the feedback is 10K. So there is a scale factor of 10, the amplification factor of 10. Whatever millivolts coming in the input will be multiplied by 10 at the output. So as you can see here, the multimeter is reading currently 2.3 volts DC. As you can see the multimeter is currently reading 2.3 volts DC. So I am going to touch the sensor. You will see the you will see the reading will change. I am touching the sensor. You can see the reading has changed. You can see it is detecting my body temperature. Now I am going to heat the sensor. I am going to heat the sensor. I am pausing the video and preparing. So as you can see, I am heating the sensor. You can see the multimeter voltage is increasing. You can see the voltage on the multimeter is increasing. Because the sensor is getting hot, the bridge is getting unbalanced and the value is changing. You can see the temperature is increasing and the bridge is getting unbalanced and the sensor is getting hot and hot, hotter. So I have stopped the heating of the sensor. You can see the temperature will come down by default. You can see the temperature is coming down. I have stopped heating. I am not, not hitting the sensor anymore. You can see the voltage is coming down, the, it, the sensor is cooling. Now I am going to heat the sensor again. You can see I am heating the sensor again. You can see the values are increasing. The, you can see the voltage is increasing. That means the heat is being generated. So this heat will be this heat will be, yeah, the sensor is hot, the sensor is getting hot, yeah, this heat will be, this heat is, dis, he, this heat is dis, displayed in terms of voltage. So the voltage is proportional to the heat. So this voltage can be processed in Arduino or any other microcontroller to display the final value of the temperature. With the proper software, we can get the proper reading. So like this we can use op amp in differential mode and Wheatstone bridge to amplify PT100 value and we can use a we can make a temperature measurement device. 
This is all for today. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.